In this CSS video, I'm going to show you how to use display block to make elements fill the entire width of their containers, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. And essentially what that does is it makes an element take up the entire width of the container it's in. So it's going to take up as much width as possible and it's always going to be on its own line if it's set to display block. Now in this HTML page right here, I have some borders around some elements just to illustrate what the display types are by default. So for the heading tag, we see that it takes up the full width of its container and it's on its own line. So that's a block element by default. The paragraph tag is a block element by default. And this div down here is also a block element by default. And I have a couple others in here. These are inline elements. They only take up as much space as they need. And what you can do is, um, since block elements take up a full line, you can make any element you want display as a block element. So for example, this span tag right here, if we wanted it to display as a block element, meaning it's on its own line and it takes the full width of the page, all we'd have to do is click into our style block, open and close curly brackets, type in display block, refresh the page, and we see that span is now on its own line, takes up the full page, and now it's a block element. It doesn't actually change the span element itself, it just changes how it's displayed. And if you have a block element, but you wanna make an inline element, all you have to do, we're gonna use the heading for an example, is do the same thing, just to use display inline. And that turns any block element into an inline element, which only takes up the amount of space that it needs. So that's how easy it is to use display block in your CSS. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.